Hi, welcome back to English with Miss Faye. This is Year 6 KSSR English Lesson Number 3. There was once a small town called Farmington. All the town folks were farmers. They live a humble and stable life. A farm boy named Sam was the youngest in the town. He was kind but a little clumsy. One day, all the farmers in Farmington had a meeting. It seemed that the farmers were all out of money to maintain their farms. A chicken farmer, Mr. Henny, had no more money to buy chicken feed. Little Rosie needed more vegetable seeds. Mr. Ranch, on the other hand, ran out of fertilizers. As for Sam, the clumsy farm boy, he needed some things too. He just didn't note them down carefully. Seeing that the farmers were worried, Sam had an idea. He volunteered to write an email to the mayor. He thought that the mayor could provide some help to the farmers. The farmers agreed, but a little worried about Sam's clumsiness. That night, Sam wrote an email to the mayor telling him about the trouble in Farmington. In his mind, he had written a great email. He then went to sleep feeling proud of himself. Sam woke up the next morning feeling excited. He opened up his computer and unfortunately, he saw that the mayor has rejected his application. The news of the rejection quickly spread across town. The farmers were confused and asked to see the email that Sam has written. Upon checking the email, they realized that the email was full of errors. Mr. Henny, Mr. Ranch and Little Rosie were disappointed. However, they were not mad at Sam because they understood his kind intention. Instead, they decided to help him write better email. So, they sat down with Sam and taught him how to write better. We are going to teach you some punctuation marks today, Sam. First of all, you need to learn about capital letters. You need to use a capital letter to start your sentences and also when writing a person's name. For example, Dear Mr. Mayor. When writing someone's name, you must write the first letter in capital. For example, Mr. Henny needs some chicken feet. Or, referring to your subject in your email, you could write there is trouble in Farmington. Next, after each sentence, you need a full stop. This means that you have come to the end of your sentence. For example, Little Rosie needs more vegetable seeds. Or in this sentence, my name is Sam. When you use a full stop, it indicates that that is the end of your sentence or your ideas. Next, you need to learn how to use a comma. A comma is used when you need to list something out or when you need to indicate a pause. It means that you are not done with your ideas just yet. For example, Dear Mr. Mayor, and in this sentence, Mr. Henny needs some chicken feed, hay, and a new pair of gloves. Another important punctuation mark to use is an exclamation point. This helps you to express something better. But remember, use it when you are saying something like you are in shock or excited. Otherwise, what you wrote in the email seems like you are shouting to the mayor. It is better used for something like this. Oh no! Or the cows have escaped. And finally, Sam, don't forget to use a question mark. But use them only when you are asking a question. And it is to be used at the end of a sentence. For example, can you help us please? 
Or will you help us, Mr. Mayor? I hope that we've helped you enough today. Sam was overjoyed with the help and went back home to write another email to save the farmers in Farmington. The end. Alright children, let's do some notes review based on the story that we have watched together just now. Firstly, as shown in the slide, a capital letter is used when writing the beginning of a sentence and also when writing a person's name. Additionally, a capital letter is also used in proper nouns and in direct speech. A full stop is used to indicate the end of a sentence of our ideas. Review the examples as follows. Thirdly, a comma is used when listing item or ideas and also when indicating a pause in a sentence. The next punctuation mark to learn is the exclamation point. Based on the story that we have watched together, it is used when somebody is in shock or excited. However, it is also placed at the end of a sentence to show other strong emotions. The next punctuation mark is the question mark. It is used at the end of a sentence which is a question. I would also like to focus your attention to the last punctuation mark which is the quotation mark. Quotation marks are used to indicate speech or conversation or easily put dialogues. For example, you need to learn punctuation marks today. How are you, Sam? The quotation mark indicates that the character is having a conversation. Okay, children, now that we have reviewed the notes previously, it is time for you to do some writing activity. Let us see. For this activity, you may refer to your Year 6 English textbook, which is on page 6. In this activity, you are required to do the following. You are to rewrite the sentences using the correct punctuation marks when necessary. The sentences to be punctuated are as follows. You may pause this video now to attempt to rewrite the sentences correctly. Then, we'll come back and check the answers together. Alright, now let us check our answers together. The first one, Tan and his wife Jenny lived in a village by the seaside. He was a fisherman and loved his job very much. One day, he caught some fish, prawns and a huge octopus. Okay children, if you have punctuated your sentences this way, then great job! A little trick for you, if you need to punctuate sentences, you may read them over and over again to identify the punctuation marks necessary for the sentence. We have now come to the end of our lesson for today. You may continue doing the exercises in your English textbook. I want you to also help to rewrite Sam's email to the mayor. I will put up the link in my video description. Do help him out, children. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!